हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट सिक्स मार्क्स बूस्टर सीरीज ऑफ गेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ हाइड्रोलॉजी सो इफ यू हैवेंट चेक द प्रीवियस लेसन यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so let us read the questions which are coming in the gate examination which will come as per the gate syllabus and as per the sample paper given in the gate so let us read the question first the first question is a 4 hour storm had 4 cm of rainfall that means 4 hour a storm took place somewhere and 4 cm of rainfall took place and the resulting direct runoff was 2 cm if the phi index remain at the same value the run up due to 10 cm of rainfall in the 8 hour in the catchment is how much so here many terms are there catchment run up infiltration phi index to know all these i would like to say that this is the best example and best picture from where you can know what is the difference between these basic terms because without knowing this we can't proceed for the numerical so it is very simple rainfall is there in somewhere so if the rain drops fall two things happen one is run up that means the water flows from one place to another and the next thing is infiltration takes place that means the rain where it falls the soil absorbs that so it goes inside the soil that is known as infiltration so in this picture it is more clear precipitation is there that is rainfall and surface runoff so the water moves from here to here because of the slope and some are infiltrated that means they move inside the soil due to the filtration mechanism those are known as infiltration water so if these things are clear now we will be able to solve this so let us see how to solve this kind of question so there is a very simple formula and the formula is phi index so what is this phi index phi index is also known as phi index of infiltration so to know how much amount the water has infiltrated this unit this number is used so the formula is phi index is p minus r divided by t so what is this p p is precipitation that is total precipitation total rainfall minus r so what is this r r is the runoff so the t is what t means duration or time of effective rainfall so how much time it took for the rainfall that is t so this is very simple so let's see how to solve this the data are given we have to put the data and get the answer so here in first case it is telling that 4 hours storm took place so and how much rainfall rainfall was of 4 cm so initially we will write phi index is equal to 4 that is here it is 4 means the precipitation rainfall and the resulting direct runoff was 2 cm so here runoff was 2 cm in the first case so here in place of r we will write 2 and divided by 4 why we have written 4 means here it is asking the time for the rainfall that is 4 hour storm 4 hour rainfall so here we will mention 4 in denominator so after solving this we'll get the phi index as 0.5 cm per hour but next it is telling in the second case the phi index remains same but there is a change in the rainfall and the duration of the rain in the second case but what is same phi index is same so again we will use the same formula phi index is equal to p minus r divided by t so in the second case p means precipitation is how much 10 cm so we'll write 10 but in the second case we don't know what is the runoff so here runoff was given but we have to find runoff so we'll write r divided by 8 so why it is 8 because time is 8 duration of rainfall is 8 so by doing this we'll get we have to equate these two because as in the question it is given the phi index remain at the same value same value means we have calculated for the initial case that is 0.5 so 10 minus r divided by 8 is equal to 0.5 and after solving this we'll get r is equal to 6 cm which is our answer that's the runoff due to rainfall is how much so the answer will be r is equal to 6 cm so now different kinds of problem are also asked from this hydrology now we'll see how this question can come so this is directly taken from the sample question of gate and no need to worry we will solve very very easily with the help of this formula only so let us read the question first the question here given is the rainfall in three successive 8 hours period is 1.6 5.4 and 4.1 cm so what is this telling this is telling that rainfall has taken in the three duration three phases so first 8 hour the rainfall was of 1.6 cm 
next eight hours the rainfall was of 5.4 centimeter and again the third eight hour the rainfall took place and it was 4.1 centimeter and the next thing it is given is if the initial loss is 0 0.6 so here the timer is going on that's why you are not able to see but it is written initial loss is 0 0.6 centimeter and the surface runoff resulting from this storm is 4.7 centimeter so what is this this is the r given then it is asking the phi index of infiltration for this storm is how much so options are given a b c d and now we will see how to solve this because it is given in three phases it is not as simple as the previous one so the formula which will be using here that is same phi index is equal to p minus r divided by t but when this is given for the periodical wise first second and third phase then we have to do one more additional thing that is to check and modify the phi index so how to do that first we will put the formula and then we will see what is the modification so here let us put the values one by one so p is here given as we know p is the total precipitation so here we will mention total precipitation is how much 1.6 5.4 and 4.1 so we'll add one by one 1.6 plus 5.4 plus 4.1 that is the total p that is the precipitation next we have to subtract with the r r is given how much 4.7 that is the runoff so we'll subtract by r divided by time so here we have to carefully add the time we will not add 8 hours it is telling 3 successive 8 hours period that means 8 plus 8 plus 8 that is 24 hour that storm took place so here in the denominator in place of t we will write 24 so by solving all this we will get the value as 0 0.26 centimeter per hour and we will go and click the b option and what we will get we will get 0 yes because this is not the answer here there is a twist so what is the twist i will tell you after this we have to check and modify the index if it is wrong yes so to know that i will tell you one thing let us see here look into this box so here it is telling that in the question 8 hours first phase 1.6 centimeter rainfall took place so that means per hour how much 0 0.2 how i got 1.6 divided by 8 that means per hour 0 0.2 next case 5.4 for 8 hours that means per hour in second period it is 0 0.67 per hour that is 5.4 divided by 8 next similarly 4.1 centimeter per 8 hours if you want to calculate for per hour then we have to divide 4.1 divided by 8 that means 0 0.51 centimeter per hour so i hope you are clear why i am written here these things here it was given for 8 hour now here in the box we have calculated per hour so now we have to compare logically yes i told you that we have to modify after that if you are getting some confusion or some mistake so what we'll see here 0 0.267 what we got we got the infiltration index that means this much amount of rainwater is infiltrated inside the soil so if you're comparing with the first period in first period 0 0.2 centimeter per hour was the rain but here it is showing 0 0.267 centimeter per hour is infiltrated so how is it possible because the rainfall is lesser than the infiltration so this is not possible similarly we will check with the second period and third period so in second period the rainfall is more than the infiltration that is okay in third period also rainfall per hour is more than the infiltration per hour so these two periods are okay but first period is logically incorrect so what we have to do in that case we have to modify our formula so what will be the modification here i have written index modi so this is not modi g this is the modification of the formula if you are getting anything wrong after the comparison so what will be the modification same will be the formula p we will write that's the precipitation 1.6 plus 5.4 plus 4.1 minus we have to do with the period which is having the problem so first period is having the problem we have to deduct the rainfall that is 1.6 for the eight hours for the first period as it is not valid and similarly we will subtract the whole value that is with the r that is 4.7 given in the question and divided by what we will do we will change because if we have deducted the rainfall we have to deduct the time also yes the 8 hours for the first period also we will deduct so here in a denominator it will be 16 and in numerator we have to subtract minus 1.6 from the p value so after calculating all this thing after modification we will get the value of this phi that is the infiltration index as 0 0.30 centimeter per hour.
so then we will say that option number a will be correct option number b will be not correct so i hope you have been able to understand this if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section but now it's a surprise for you not a surprise it is a homework so let's solve this so you should solve this question and comment me in the comment section what will be the answer of this question so this is the similar kind of question i have similarly given you with a difference in the values so try to calculate this and comment me in the comment section so i hope you have enjoyed the video so subscribe the channel to get further updates and all the best for the examination